Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second of our three Bishops Composers Concerts of 2020. When I look back on this year, a year full of disappointments and challenges, I'm even more amazed that the boys have been able to produce works of such a high calibre. Many of their weekly 40-minute periods uh, of composition have been online, which makes their achievements that much more special. In this program, we start with three pieces influenced by minimalism, followed by an orchestral work from a matric composer, Robert Dugmore, who submitted a substantial portfolio of works for the John Joubert Composers Cup. John Joubert, who sadly died last year, was educated at Bishops and is one of South Africa's world-renowned composers probably best known for his choral works. The final piece in the program is an exuberant piece of jazz by rising star Ben Reed. Hi everyone, my piece is a minimalist composition that I composed in the first term of this year. As a keen mountain biker, trail runner and open water swimmer, I've often come across beautiful birds of prey in nature. And when I wrote this piece, I try to imitate a falcon's journey in its hunting routine, from where it's seeking its prey in the verses to where, it, to where it makes its swift and vicious attacks in the choruses. At the end, the bird finally catches its food in a swift movement. Here is Flight of the Falcon. Hi everyone, I'm Mangaliso Noganshi and I'm in grade 11. I do subject music and my piece today is called uh, Rain. And I took like inspiration from an artist called Rob Scallon who has the same piece called Rain. And the piece's like um, objective is to imitate the sound of rain and the feeling that rain and thunder brings to you. I hope you enjoy.
Hello, my name is Kwani Kim. I'm in grade 10 and this is actually a ground-based project for all the grade 10s. The name of the piece is Ending. So basically when I composed this piece, I just thought of the ending of the whole world. But when you listen, you can imagine the ending of anything. It starts off with the bass in the cello that repeats a four bar phrase. And then the piano is added and then the violin for the climax. The violin disappears and comes back in for the second time. And this time it brings a little hope into the story. But then that hope also fades away. And then basically in the story, everyone just dies. Thank you. Hi, I'm Robert Dugmore and I'm a matric music student. I found that composing was a good pastime activity for uh, the wind for as like a nice study break during exams and I started writing this piece after I found a nice little motif after tinkling a, around on the piano. So that's really what inspired me to write this piece. But I think a crucial thing that inspired me to continue this piece is when I sent an email to our esteemed teacher, Mr. Carletti, saying, hi, sir, here's my thing. It's about halfway done. Could I have some constructive criticism? And he says, very nice. Can you finish this by the end of the week? I'm like, uh, OK. So yeah, in the middle of exams, I decided, you know what, I'm going to do this. Finish this piece by the end of the week. Problem when you like create a piece just by listening to the music and just purely based off the music is it really becomes quite tricky to name it. But after playing it for some of my friends, they told me about this whole scene which they'd envisioned of wind blowing around on the hills and tattered flags and a red sky. And from that, I got the name which I called my piece Wind on the Hills. Enjoy.
Hi, I'm Ben Reed, and I'm in grade 10, and I'm doing subject music. Now, my song originally started off as a class composition project. I drew from my love for jazz as my main influence. I wanted the song to have a fun, bouncy, and energetic feel. Um, true to most jazz songs, I will be playing the melody, uh, then I will be improvising a solo, and then playing the melody again. The song's called Grapefruit for Dinner. <laughs>